Good day, students. Welcome to another lecture in business communication. Today we are going to look at chapter 9, which is on public speaking. Right, so let's look at today's learning outcomes. So I said that at the end of this chapter, you should be able to define public speaking. You should also be able to identify the basis of public speaking, as well as why public speaking is an important skill to have. Right, so what is public speaking? So they say that public speaking is a formal face-to-face -face communication method where a person uses the medium of speech to inform and influence a group of listeners, which we are calling an audience. So public speaking is mostly a face-to-face -face communication uh, method where uh, a speaker and the audience have to be both present. Right. So they're saying that the goal of the speech may be to educate, entertain, or just to influence the listeners. So the goal can vary, right? And you're saying that often visual aids in the form of electronic uh, slideshows are used to supplement the speech and make it more interesting to the listeners. So in most cases, if you're giving a public speech, you might need visual aids. It can be electronic uh, slideshows. It can be uh, pictures. It can be um, uh, boards. Anything that you might need to make sure to to, to what to um, back up your uh, verbal communication. Right, so let's look at the basics of public speaking. Number one, you are saying that know your topic. At the end of the day, it's your own topic, so make sure that you know your topic, you have done your research, and own it. And this will only be possible if you have done research and if you have prepared enough. So make sure that you own your topic. This actually, if you know the topic, it gives um, your, your audience interest to listen to you or to be um, interested in your topic. Right, so our second uh, point is to know your audience. This is something that we have been communicating throughout in business communication. If you are going to talk to a group of people, make sure that you know them. What do they like? What do they want to listen to? What kind of people are they? Um, what is funny to them, what is not funny, and so on. This will help you to make sure that you deliver a very good speech. Uh, find a hook. So make sure that you have that interest, interesting uh, point to start with. So it's up to you. Some people start with a um, story uh, telling or maybe a little joke or um, a conversation where they have to they ask questions and so on. So just start with a, that interesting um, topic to make sure that you get, you grab your audience attention. Uh, be yourself. So some people, when they hear of public speaking, then they try to go do research, they go listen. If there's no problem with doing research, but if you are going to, if you want to give a very good um speech, make sure that you are yourself. Do not try to copy your friends, to copy their accent, to copy someone's how they talk and so on. As long as you are well prepared and you know what you're talking about, just be who you are. Stay on point. So avoid discussing um, other unnecessary uh, topics. Make sure that you stay in your line. Do not um, go out of topic. And do not you repeat yourself. In most right, in most cases, if you repeat yourself, it sounds like you don't know what to say anymore. You don't have news anymore. You are done talking, or you just don't have information. So make sure that you do not repeat yourself. Don't repeat something that you already said. Right. So let's so let's look at why uh, public speaking is an important skill to have. So you are saying that public speaking is a great life skill to have as it is necessary in many different areas. So you probably need it for a class project, like a presentation, or you might need it for a job or in internship presentations, like an interview. Um, you also might need it for a club, organization meetings, or events. If you're hired, you might uh, need it uh, in, uh, in your, your company, organization. You might have uh, to do a presentation in, um, in a meeting at a certain event and so on. And 
Um, lastly, we are saying that a speech at family gatherings such as weddings, birthday, or anniversaries, you, you just you also might need uh, public speaking skills for your personal life, such as um, or social life, such as a wedding, a birthday, anniversary in your family. So these are the um, reasons why we need uh, public speaking skills because we might uh, use it at these occasions. All right, so this will take us to the end of our today's lesson. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. And if you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me. I will see you guys in our next lesson.